Hey, welcome back. My name is Ray with Ray's Engines. Um, I'm back here with the Small Block Chevy. I had a request if I could set up a, if I could show how to set up the Elder Brock carburetor, how to adjust the idle mixtures to get the best uh, idle performance out of it. Um, also, how to set the timing on it. So today, what I have is a. This is just the regular timing light. This is what I have here to set the, the timing on it. On this one, what you're going to see is a. Uh, it's going to turn on pretty quick because the carburetor is already adjusted. The distributor, the time is already set. Um, again, if you just give me a thumbs up, hit that bell, and subscribe to my channel. That way you can uh, not miss any future videos that I put up. Uh, if you could uh, just do that for me, and then I'll put more videos up. And if you have any requests, by all means, just let me know, and I'll set something up for you. Uh, whether it's installing a fuel pump, whether jetting a carburetor uh, whatever it is uh, I'll set it up for you on this one we're gonna do it pretty quick we're just gonna adjust the idle mixtures and I just want to explain something just in case you can't hear me the minute I turn it on we're gonna do it by ear we're not gonna do it by a vacuum gauge or anything like that you can go purchase one if you want I just want to teach you the way an easy way in case you're out there at the racetrack or you're out there at a car show or whatever it is and you want to set this up for for a friend or for yourself and you can do it just by listening to the idle of, of the engine so in other words if the idle's high and you start messing with the idle mixture and you start turning the idle mixture down uh, you start turning it in and the idle goes down then you're on the right track you stop right there you don't keep turning it anymore because you're going to shut the engine off so you just turn it in clockwise until you hear the idle just go down, you stop, and then you turn it counterclockwise, you start taking it back out until the idle goes up. Once the idle goes up, you stop. Then you set your other idle mixture, because this Elderbrock has two. Uh, there's Holly's that have four. So this one has two. So then you're gonna do this, repeat the process on the next one. And that's how you're gonna set this one up. Like I said, it's already all set. You're gonna see how quick it starts. And then we'll go, I'm gonna go ahead and mess it up. I'm going to go ahead and turn it all the way in. That way you can see what happens. And then we'll set this up. And then we're going to set the timing. Like I said, the timing is already set on this one. But I'm just going to move it to show you how to set the timing as well. Um, like I said, here we go. Now like I said, if you hear the engine start idling smooth, we're going to turn this one clockwise. Until you hear the engine turn, uh, until you hear the engine idle go down. Hey, about to shut off. Now turn it back out until it raises back up. There, idle went back up. You're going to do the same thing to the next one. You hear that? It's about to shut off. You don't want to go that far. Back out. There it is. That was good. A quick way to check it. Let's rev it up a little bit and see if it shuts off. Nope, that's good. Now let's set the timing up. See, it's already in time. If you can see my pointer, I have one here. It's set up for eight. You see the timing's already in there? We're gonna rotate the distributor counterclockwise. Just so you can see what happens. See, it went down. It went more down. It's at four degrees. We're gonna raise it back up. We're gonna go clockwise with it. Trying to get back to eight, and there it is. We're on number eight again. There's a timing. If 
that's how you set the timing. You want more advanced? You can go more advanced. You can go to 10, 12, and so on. This engine will be doing good on eight. So we're gonna leave it at eight. And that's how you set the timing. You wanna look here? This is how you set it up. You put this on your number one spark plug. You put these, one on the hot, which is a positive, and the next one is on negative. That's how you set it up. That's it. Number one, remember, every engine is, uh, a Ford will be different on the number one. That's about it. And now we can rev it up so you can see. Doesn't shut off. And that's how you set your timing. It's very simple, very easy. Uh, like I said, you just move your distributor whichever way it needs to go to set your timing, adjust your idle mixtures, and that's it. Like I said, if you have any questions, if you wanna see a certain way to set it up, if you didn't see it correctly on this or you didn't see something that you wanted to see, let me know. I'll get a closer video of it or I'll just explain it to you. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, just give me some comments. Uh, you can message me on Facebook uh, at Ray's Engines. And uh, like I said, we'll see you on the next video, and I appreciate you watching. Thanks.